And angle B opposite side is denoted by small b. And if we use that Pythagoras, you know that sum of the squares of two sides a square plus b square is equal to c square. This is Pythagoras theorem. And if we divide here by c square, a square upon c square plus b square upon c square is equal to c square upon c square we are dividing by c square and if we divide by c square what are you getting a upon c bracket square plus b upon c bracket square is equal to what very interesting you know that a upon c a upon c with respect to theta it is sine theta opposite upon hypotenuse that is sine theta so you can substitute here it is nothing but sine theta square but we can write like this sine square theta plus b upon c b upon c with respect to angle theta theta kona cha dhrishtina b hi lagat chi bazu ahe ani c ha karna hai तर काय म्हणाल b upon c दैट इज नथिंग बट cos theta स्क्वेअर इज इक्वल टू 1 सो वी आर गेटिंग वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आइडेंटिटी रिमेंबर दैट आइडेंटिटी sin square theta plus cos square theta इज इक्वल टू 1 दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट आइडेंटिटी ट्रिग्नोमेट्री मेंस Six ratios. Before that, only three ratios are there, and after that, we are getting all identities. Now, let us move further by using this identity, identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. This is proved now, and if we divide here by cos square theta, if we divide by cos square theta, what is that? Sine square theta divided by cos square theta plus cos square theta divided by cos square theta is equal to one upon cos square theta. We divide by cos square. Now you can see that sine theta divided by cos theta. You know that sine theta upon cos theta it is tan theta. So square. Sin square theta upon cos square theta it is equal to tan square theta. So you can substitute here tan square theta plus this is one is equal to one upon cos square theta. Remember that one upon cos theta, one upon cos theta is sec theta, and one upon cos square theta must be equal to sec square theta. So what is that? You can substitute here sec square theta. You are getting another identity. You can write like this. You can remember like this. One plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. One plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. And third identity by using first identity. What is that? We have proved that sin square theta plus cos square theta. Is equal to one. First, we use that cos square theta. By dividing cos square theta, we are finding interesting identity. Apart from that, the cos square theta is divided. Let us divide here by sine square theta. Divide here by sine square theta. Divide it by sine square theta. So cos square theta upon sine square theta. Sin square theta upon sin square theta. We are getting one, but you know that cos theta upon sin theta, cos theta upon sin theta, it is cot theta. 
so it is cot square theta is equal to 1 upon sin what is that 1 upon sin theta is cosec theta so we can substitute here cosec square theta so what is that identity identity you are getting 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta so this is important group of identity and this is you can see that remember that this is your sixth group we have to remember this sixth group Abhyala, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sex square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta group of the